My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. Like I said, my, my style of teaching is I like to change things that you can control. Uh, and your setup you can control. And for me, what I'm going to say is, based on your setup, I'm going to look at the pressure plate, and I want to know where your weight's distributed. I want to make sure your weight for an iron is 50-50 heel to toe, not too much on your heels, not too much on your toes. And in terms of right to left weight distribution, I want you to be about 50-50 as well, or maybe leaning a little left. Okay. Um, now, as far as the swing, I gotta get this started because the takeaway is really good. The club head stays to the outside of the hands or to the right of the hands from this vantage point. That's good. good. Yep. And the angle you cock your wrist on is through the elbow plane. It's parallel to the shaft plane, which is good. Okay. Now, does it come down on that plane? No. <laughs> it doesn't come down on that plane. It comes down on a steeper plane. That's what we're gonna change. No, it's not much. Right. But steep steep going back would be preferable and shallow coming down would be preferable. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to take that and change it. I'll show you what I would prefer. Now, like I said, this is not going to happen overnight, but it will happen eventually. All right, so this is Matsuyama, who's about your size, and tight. He's not... Now, that's going back steeper. Mm -hmm. All right, he's through the elbow there, okay? Now, coming down... He's going to come down shallower. Mm -hmm. That's what the best players in the world do. Yeah, is that driving more of this? It all is has to do with your hands. Okay. Yeah, so he's getting that club to shallow out by working the right palm under. Oh, uh, okay. That's all it is. Now, can you play good with this? Yeah, Brendan DeYoung is probably one of the best ball strikers on tour. He goes in and over. So, he's also 5'10", 245. Uh, you know, he's big and thick, and guys with big shoulders and are thick guys, they can't swing from the inside because their body won't allow them to. Um, I haven't asked you anything about physical limitations if you have torn any rotator cuffs or had any. No, I had knee surgery when I was in high school, but it hasn't. Yeah, that's okay. So, you know, that would be the one thing I would do. It's a little steep coming over the top. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I say coming over the top, it's not really coming over. You have good, you hit the ball well. But we want to change that. Now, why is that five point or six degree path a problem? It's a problem with a driver. It's a problem with longer clubs. Because it's multiplied. Right. right. Because your starting line gets wider when, when your path gets too far out. So my preference is a path be three or less. Okay. Yours is around six. So I'm going to show you a drill that's going to help you change that. 
you're going to work on getting the handle to stay close to your right hip and getting the shaft steeper on the backswing and a little shallower coming down. Now, the best players in the world, in my opinion, are steep to shallow. They're not shallow to steep. Now, he's currently the best player in the world. He's steeper on the backswing. That's a wedge, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to be close to the ball. It's going to be steeper. But you can see... But he's still going to come down to it. He's going to be coming down slightly on the inside of that plane. Yeah. So that's what I think. Now, if you go to a different teacher, they're going to tell you something different. So you got to decide, you know, what do you want to hear? Uh, so... Are we talking about a big change? No, we're not talking about a big change. We're talking about a change that's very minute. And it's going to start with the takeaway. Okay. The physics of this is if we can go steeper on the backswing, you'll come down shallower anyway, and you won't even have to think about it. Okay. Uh, because you're going to be practicing motion training exercises right. doing this steep to shallow in a mirror. So less this. Well, not so much your arms. Pa your arm okay. path has nothing to do with your shaft plane. Okay. So you can swing it around and you still go up, a vertically steep with the club. Okay. I, I think your plane. Yeah. You said I did make a reference to the fact that yeah, you're probably a little flat uh, for your height. Would I like your arm hands to be above your head? Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Are your hands above your head? No. Uh, but that's only an inch or two. We're only talking maybe a couple inches. That's not as important as changing the plane of the shaft. Okay. So in priorities, you know, uh, is your club face in a different position at the top than his? Yeah. It's a little sh more shut. Is this bad? No. I wouldn't say Jack jo Zach Johnson is a bad player. He's got a shut club face. He's won more money in the last 10 years except for Tiger and Phil Mickelson than anybody playing golf. So, you know, like I said, there's a million ways to do it. This guy, Justin Rose, happens to have a very, very technically sound golf swing. He doesn't change planes very much. He's parallel to the plane there, and he's going to come down on the same exact plane. He doesn't change planes at all. Now, that's why he's a world-class player. There's not a lot of changing going on right. there. Uh, so he hits the ball pretty consistent. And, and so uh, okay. 